Hello everybody, this is Dee. Welcome to my channel, Dee Plants and Budgets. I got dressed today to go out. It's Monday, gonna play some pool. And I decided that I would go ahead and record an intro to put on this week's videos. Haven't showed my face in a while just because it just hasn't been convenient to do so. I do, you know, <laughs> sometimes let's be honest because we just use our hands. I record with wet hair and in my PJs, right? So I want to make sure I'm a little presentable in order to be respectful for to you when I film an intro face to face. But I wanted to say welcome and I am so glad that you take your time out each week to spend a little bit of time with me. I really appreciate it and I want to thank you for stopping by. This week I got my schedule right here. This week because I'm going to use this intro all week long. This week we're going to do my Monday minis with recap and we're going to be randomizing my sloth binder, hopefully finishing up some so we can put them in that challenges. And I'm going to be doing my month ahead binder, my low priority binder, year ahead binder, and I'm going to be doing my last Friday freebie Friday collab with Jenny at Simply Living Saves. If these things sound like something you want to watch, and they're not all going to be on one video, but if these types of videos sound like something you want to watch, then just please stay tuned. All right, what are we doing today? It is my favorite time. Yes, it is my low priority binder sinking funds. Yes, I love doing this one. There's so many things about this I love. Number one, I do this binder in cash and I love playing with real cash. I need to use prop money in some of my binders for security and in order to earn interest, but I love using real cash as well. And I use real cash in this binder and also, I'm in this binder. I support my international friends. Yay. And I love doing that. I convert my money to Ron, which gives me four times the amount. And I use international challenges. And lastly, this goes to fund funds that are a little more lenient within my budget. And so this is just a win-win all over for me. How much are we stuffing today? And this is less the money I'm doing in Ron. So this is just for this binder here, not the international part. So we are doing 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 5, 90, 95, 1, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. 120 dollars. All right, I have some new challenges today. Yes, yes, yes. That is fun too. Let me get my big binder prepared and ready. Okay, I am back and ready. I remembered my coloring piece of paper. Yes, let's start with Madeline Budgets. This is her set. I have it a few places in my binders because it's really cute. And I think I got like nine of these dogs, right? I just love that. I think it's amazing. I want to find a different color of blue today. Let's try this one. And we have a little bit less money, so I want to do... How about just five and we can come back? There we go, five dollars. Okay, let's do this first. Five and five is 10 and we'll take that 10 and then let's take a five. Okay, that works. I have, you know, a few challenges in here and I want to try to get to all of them. I can always come back and put more money in. Sparkle. Next is Sparkle. We all know I love Sparkle. I love this and shut the box equally. And this is just a challenge that I made. I know a lot of people don't play this and that's fine, but I really love playing this. So six dice, you're going for three of a kinds and they have to be all in one row and you have to keep something that counts every time. So, ooh, well, there we go. So three ones, I have a score thing back here. Three of a kind in ones is worth 1,000 or $10. Yes, so I am gonna stop right there. And we're gonna put this 10 in here and grab this 20, 25, 27, and 28 is in this round of sparkle. I empty it at the end of every round. That's enough sparkling for me. Next, I have a challenge from Savings with Tracy with an I, and she sent this to me. I love the writing right there. And this is absolutely adorable. It's a total of $60. It's a little cow and tulips, and this is so springy and so cute, and thank you so much, and I am definitely gonna do this challenge. So let's just start with this 
All right, one dollar. And there's plenty on here. I don't like to do my savings, uh, my scratch offs, uh, super quickly all at once. And so I am just doing two today. That's just my personal choice. I don't want to spend the money on scratch offs and scratch them all off in one day. All righty. So thank you for that, Tracy. So cute. Oh, here, you know what? Here's all her stuff if you want to screenshot that. Super cute. Okay, then next, Liz and Les, I'm so excited to start this challenge. Fantastic. I have decided to do both of the challenges on this, right? And I do not have the total amount because you have to start with the rug. So today I am putting $7 in here. And y'all, I am practicing discipline right here. And I'm going to cross off this $7. And I don't get a sticker until I put $10 in it next time. I, will, I love to make Liz's challenges last. You know that I love to do that. I love to just look at them. They're adorable. And I am going to make this last. There are some lower dollar ones in there that I maybe could have done both. But you have to some things you have to put in a specific order. All right, I've been waiting to start this one because I was doing these um, Tracy Inspired challenges, but I want to get to her chocolate. And so I am going to do this. Let me pick two dice and see. Oh, one, two, three. Ooh. Mmm, look at that chocolate. If you have not ordered one of Tracy's scratchers, they are an incredibly satisfying scratch, much like Madeline's from Madeline Budgets. Madeline's are um, laminated though, but Tracy just, she has a good printing company that prints her stuff. All right, next we're gonna do my B challenges. I'm gonna roll two dice. Let's start here, and I think I'm just gonna try to go like this. Keep it simple. I should just grab, I should put the tray out here. And five. So one, two, three, four, five. So I'm gonna save five dollars. All right, I'm using this brown. I have this in a mini version, which I'm using um, in another binder, but I really like this. Am I gonna color through? Nope, got my black paper down. I really like these little bee challenges that I did. I, <laughs> I love coloring hexagons. I don't know why, but I love coloring hexagons. I also love coloring circles, squares, and hearts. But hexagons, I, I really, really enjoy. I don't know why. This is just the straight, uh, you know, you, you pick a number and roll or and save it, or you can roll and have it, choose it. And this is like the little mini one I'm playing on my other video. Next. All right, this is a new one I made up, and I have made a bunch of prototypes of these. Um, I really love a challenge that has a border, but I wanted to do a two-sided. And so I made up a bunch of these, and unfortunately... You can line up on your document all you want, but if your paper doesn't pull it through perfectly, it's never going to be perfect. So you, as you can see, this uh, border is not exactly symmetrical on all sides. So I'm trying to work my way through this. I love this challenge. I have a, a big paper one of this uh, in my shop, and I'm trying to release some of these as a two-sided for people. Still trying to work out the details, but I love these. I have all sorts of savings. Uh, I have never been old enough to know better and it's too late to start. That is me. On one side is a scratch off and the other side is a roll and save. Let's do scratch off today. All right, $15. I will not be doing the roll and save today because I got the big one. And you know what, Dee? That was a satisfying scratch. Hey, I figure if I tell it, say it to other people, I should say it to me, right? That was a satisfying scratch. I have a bunch of prototypes on these. Stay tuned. Okay, Tuatu. Excellent. Let's grab a dice and three. Let's just start from here. One, two, three. $8. Why are all these scratches giving me their absolute most today when I'm so low on money? All right, $8 into Tuatu. So one, two, three, and five is eight. I'm gonna have to figure out a place to break that 20. All righty. 
Uh, this is Chris Gilmore, Tuatu. Check out her shop. She's got a lot of really cool stuff on there. All righty, I found some change, thank goodness. I think, you know what? I am gonna do these in red to match the little ladybug. And this is the challenge that I did on um, the first of the year. I have it linked to some of my videos as well. I just did a yearly savings challenge. I wanted everybody to have something to save with every year, independent on their ability to be able to purchase challenges. And I am saving all mine up to go to a pink concert in Vegas. And that I, I encouraged you to use yours to save for something big to show you how little amounts can add up. However, if you just want to use this as a monthly savings challenge, that is fine. I know, for instance, like Champagne is using these for debt. Well, that's fantastic because I know how important paying off debt is to Champagne, right? So you do you, but these are available to you. I am linking them on some of my videos. And I would love for you to go get them and have them. Let's talk about the next one from my friend Jenny at Simply Living Saves. I saw these and had to have them immediately because they are corgis, right? Yeah, I know, butterflies. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Butterflies are cute, but corgis, right? Now, I mean, I don't know if it's an officially a corgi because it has a tail and corgis, they usually cut off the tails, but it just totally screamed corgis to me. I love corgis. They are the animal that should not be right? I mean, their head doesn't go with their body. Their legs are too short. Their ears are totally wrong. You hack off their tail, but you take all these things, like they look like a Franken puppy, right? But you take all these things and you put them all together and you get adorably cute. I just don't know. There was a set of three of these. One I already put into another binder and let's do, let's roll a dice. See which one we're going to do today. It's probably going to be a six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, but a five. Okay. Wasn't a six, but it was a five. Oh, I picked a good color. And we're only gonna do one of these today. Cause I've got a lot of challenges and not a lot of money. All right, that's Jenny Simply Living Save. She just put a bunch of new shop stuff on her shop. Run over and check it out, super cute. Okay, Budget Nerd Co. I have these two colors here now. I keep these out for um, the colors that I'm doing in my bullet journals. And so, that's why they're sitting there. Let's get my box. Okay. And we'll do orange for my cleaned off. Four. I need to go like this. There we go. Four. Ten. Let's do nine and one. I would love to finish this today. Twelve. Let's do... I guess I can only do seven and five. Yep. Uh-oh. And seven. <laughs> you guys, this game. So that's five, 11, 19. I can never get anywhere on this game. All right, I believe I have a one in here. I hope I have a one in here. I do. Cause it's gonna take my 20. Do I have two fives? I do not. So just in this, shut the box. 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 1, 2, 3, 4. 94 dollars. Man, that's okay. I will finish it next time and I will be happy I have all that money going into my low priority binder. I just need to remind myself, this is my money. It's not like it's going to anybody else. It's mine. It should be okay when it gets a big, a big amount. Alrighty, and on this one, I am rolling a 12-sided die. I bet it's going to be a 12 today. <laughs> no, but it's 11. <laughs> Some days, y'all. Okay, let me see. 10 and 11. Alrighty, 20, 40, 50, 5, 57, 50, 59, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 64. All right, again, that's okay. My money be done in a few weeks. It'll be mine. Can I get to Ellie on Earth? I think I can. Okay. Yes, I can because I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, I still have twelve dollars. Okay. I am going to do just one from Ellie on Earth because I want to get to some other challenges. I think I'll do three. I don't know why I decided to do three instead of just the two. 
And see on the other side, it's a roll and save. Fantastic. One, two, and three. 10, 15, 20, one, two, and three. All righty. This cute one for Ellie on Earth. She's Ellie. She's on Earth. Go check her out. Love her channel. All right. This one I'm excited to show you. And I put this on my Etsy shop. And I made it to be used with a color die and a whatever dice you want to use. You can use a, a three-sided dice, four-sided dice, six-sided, 12-sided, 20-sided, one of those hundred-sided if you're crazy, whatever you want to do. I'm going to use a six-sided. Additionally, because some people may not have a color die, I put a, a number there, right? So if you that way you could use like maybe a different color dice. And if it's, so instead of green, if it was a one, you'd use this card. Oh. And then lastly, there was absolutely no yellow in this design. So I took this one because she had a light yellow patch and um, put that in here as the yellow. And this would be like a variation of rolling the rainbow. The difference is it's going to be lower value and you're going to pre-assign the values on this. I've seen these all over a bunch of channels in all sorts of different ways. I just decided to do this with mine because I love these cute little girls and I wanted to use them. So I'm just gonna do a couple of rolls on these if I can. So it's gonna be green and number five. So the green girl is going to get $5. Try to write it in the color that it is. So that is $5. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, okay, I have $4 left. I'm gonna push it and see, okay. Orange and five. Okay, orange and five. I had a suspicion that that would happen, but I have my binder right here with my walking around money. I don't wanna do an IOU, take a dollar out of my walking around money. So one, two, three, four, and five. So now I'm just gonna put all of this together. And when I get done one, the money will come out and go to the category that I chose. Again, it's a variation on roll in the rainbow. All right, so I wanted a card because I don't want the uh, Sharpie to bleed off on these envelopes. So I just made one and I had to put those on there because it was sticky. All right, so we are done with this part of the savings challenge video today. Let me get everything ready and we will start our international. Eddie, for those of you who don't know, this binder was inspired by Madeline. She, I wanted to do this challenge from her, this 2024 challenge but I didn't have anywhere in my budget that I could put a challenge that was gonna save me $2,000. When watching her video one day, she was talking about the conversion rate of Romanian RON to US dollars, and it's four RON to one US dollars. I just got this fun idea. I decided to make this Romanian prop money, right? And then I could take the dollars that I'm saving and convert it into Romanian Ron and be able to complete some of these bigger challenges. So in the end, I'm still only saving my US dollars, but it just helps me to be able to do some of these bigger ones instead of doing something like adding the numbers together, etc. Just another way to make something your own. And since then, this has kind of turned into a way for me to support all our international budgeters out there. There is one more savings challenge I want to get in here. I haven't purchased it yet, but it's coming. Then, Madeline, because she's so stinking amazing, I just adore that girl, she sent me some real Romanian Ron, and I just love this, right? It, it is the most interesting money. I've handled a lot of Canadian money because I used to sing in Canada, but that's just different. I love the different sizes of it. It is just amazing. So... What I'm doing now is I take my U.S. cash, today we're doing $90 U.S., and I am putting it into this binder that says stuffed. When the challenge is completed, I convert it back into U.S. cash, and that is what goes into my binder. And this is what backs my prop money to make it real. So I am just having a blast with this. I am adding more international budgeters every week, and it is super fun. Let's move that out of the way and go to this first one. This challenge was sent to me by the Aussie dollar. And yes, I know she's Australian, but I'm still uh, stepping Ron. Before I do that, that $90 Ron turned into 51, 52, 20, 40, 60, 83, 10, 20, 30, 5, 40, 45, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. 
Madeline had left a comment. I guess in Romania, these um, 20s, you hardly ever find in the wild, she says, which would mean, you know, just out and about. They're incredibly rare, I guess. All right, so $14 from this one, from the Aussie dollar. All righty. Do I have any ones in here? I do not, and I didn't get very many tens out today. So, one, two, three, four, or I'm sorry, ones. I've got more prop money that I made. I can get it out if I need it. All right, so this is going into the Aussie dollar. I do consolidate this uh, often when I'm done just because I don't have a ton of prop money. So this next one is from Rock's Budget, but it's not uh, her big puzzle challenge, which I'm also doing. This one is just uh, $25 each week. Let's do this orange one right here. And I'm just doing one of these a week. I'm gonna have this done pretty soon. I'm still saving the bulk of my dollars to complete the 2024 and Rox's uh, puzzle challenge for $1,000. Those will take me a little bit to do, but that is okay. So $25 in Rox budgets. And let's pop that in here. Right, the, let's, I'm gonna get through the ones that I've already started because Rox, again, because she's so stinking supportive of everybody, sent me a couple of names of other people uh, in the international community who sell things on Etsy and I went and I bought some and I will start putting those in this binder as well. And save with Alicia, Alicia, sorry, I always wanna say Ja because it was a day, but save with Alicia. I have a, um, I have a challenge in my favorites that I'm gonna get from you soon. Uh, this scratch off too, by the way, was also sent to me from Madeline because she knows that I love to camp in my van. And this next one, Rock's Budgets here is her puzzle challenge, so we're not going to do that one. And I have her book, which I'm going to be starting soon when I get rid of one of the bigger challenges. I won that book on Rox's challenge, or challenge channel. Okay, so the first YouTuber uh, international that Madeline sent me was Zen Craftivity, and that's on Etsy. And I absolutely love these peacock challenges. 30 175. Now I can do the smaller ones on this or I can do the bigger ones. I'm going to start with this smaller one just because, and oh my gosh, I love these. I think I'm going to pull my one to three dice and see how many of these dots I should do today. Well, I'm doing three. Okay, so if I'm going to do three, let's have it equal something. So five. Eight, nine, ten. These are absolutely beautiful. So this one is starting with ten Ron. Yay! And let's go back now to the other one. This is another uh, suggestion from Rox or from Madeline. Y'all, I don't like Susie, but I do like these little things, right? <laughs> so are so stinking cute. Let's start with this one. Each one is going to be five dollars and I think we'll do the same thing and do a one to three die and see how many we're going to do today. One, so we're just going to do one little one little sushi. As I said, I do not like sushi. I, you would not catch me eating sushi, but these things way too cute. So a matter of fact, I have a bunch of family in town for the eclipse and I am babysitting so they can all go out to a wonderful sushi place. My granddaughter and I are going to stay home and eat chicken nuggets. My favorite kind of food. This came along as a freebie. I don't know why I punched it this way. I usually punch them backwards, but that's okay. I'm going to let the die decide. I know it only goes one through five. So one is this way. And three is this way, $7. Okay, and I think I can just, ooh, I'm gonna pull a Renee. Boop. I like doing that. Okay, $7. 
and I don't have any more ones. I will be right back. One, two, three, four, five, and I'll take a five. Got my little prop box here. There we go. Oop. And this was getting seven dollars. Okay, so I got to have this one started. Fantastic. The little envelope came with it. I'm not sure I like that, but you know what? It'll work for now. I put these into two piles because I'm giving equally to each one. And then here, and we'll do this on Roxas because I know that she has some little ones that we'll make for odd numbers. Oh, you know what? Hold on. Madeline has 124 in her challenge, so we're going to make this Madeline's pile today. Okay, so let's start with Roxas' pile. All right, I have pins ready. How much are we doing today? 51, 20, 45, 145 in Roxas. I am just going to start coloring my little heart's content and speed this up, and I will be back. All righty, I'm back. <laughs> Interesting, too. I was using my Sharpies, and I'm like, why are all my Sharpies drying out? There is something in this paper. It's um, it, it seems like the ink is dry, but it is not, because I took out some oil mark or... Uh, alcohol markers and it's doing the same thing. If I was not so far done, I think I would just reprint this and start over. We'll see. I might. If it looks all different next time, that will be the case. 145 into this amazing puzzle challenge by Rox. When I am done, I'm going to have over a thousand dollars divided by four. So whatever that amount ends up being. Let's see what I have in here all together. Before, like I said, I usually consolidate off camera. Two, four, 50, five, 620, 40, 50, five, and 56. 656. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. And I have five rows all the way done. So I would say I'm halfway done. Maybe it'll be about $1,200. I don't know. It'll work. Okay, I'm going to get ready for the next one. And in Roxas, I have 51, 20, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, let's do this kind of like Wendy at the Thrifty Sewist. And I have 144. Now, I know I want to do this 24 because I had those uh, little individual ones to get done. So we're going to minus 24. Okay, so now I have 120. And I think I'm going to do three 40s. I'm going to speed this up and be right back. And let's see what we got. We have two, four, six, seven, 58, 58, 78, 90, 9, 10, 9, 20, 924 dollars. We have eleven hundred dollars left in this one. Ooh, ooh, fantastic. All righty. Uh, you know what? One of the, my most favorite things about this money is you can fit it in these zipper envelopes and it doesn't stick. <laughs> Squirrel, I know. Anyhow, thank you so much for stopping by today. Like, subscribe, share, comment. I appreciate all of that. I also appreciate when you watch the video, any support that you do is just, I, I just really appreciate it. And I used to appreciate like 25 times. Until the next one. Bye.